Hello everyone and welcome to our video series on Learn German for Daily Use. In this video, we'll be learning a few phrases used to wish someone. So, let's begin. Jemandem etwas wünschen In Germany, it's a very common practice to wish others on various occasions. We will be doing these sentences to know when to use them. Mostly, when someone says these things to you, you answer with Danke or Vielen Dank. And here's the first one. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Once again, Herzlichen Glückwunsch. With this expression, you can congratulate someone who has, for example, passed an examination, has birthday, or has just gotten married. To wish someone specifically on birthday, you would say Herzlichen Glückwunsch zum Geburtstag. Once again, Herzlichen Glückwunsch zum Geburtstag. Alternatively, you can say Alles Gute zum Geburtstag. Once again, Alles Gute zum Geburtstag. Moving to the next one, Gute Reise. Once again, Gute Reise. So, if you have any friends or colleagues going on a trip, don't forget to wish them Gute Reise. It's a very nice gesture. A very common phrase is Viel Spaß. Once again, Viel Spaß. If anyone is going out for a movie, or with friends or something similar, you wish them viel Spaß. Another form of this phrase is viel Vergnügen. Once again, viel Vergnügen. But this is not as commonly used as viel Spaß. Let's do the next one. Guten Appetit. Once again, Guten Appetit. This phrase is used very commonly in German. Especially if you are eating with Germans, you will find them wishing you Guten Appetit. You may also hear in the same situation Guten Hunger. Once again, Guten Hunger. And some people may also wish you Mahlzeit. Once again, Mahlzeit. Let's come to the next one. Viel Glück. Once again, Viel Glück. This phrase is very commonly used to wish someone good luck. Let's do another phrase for the same situation. Hals und Beinbruch Once again, Hals und Beinbruch So, if someone has an examination or is going for a competition or something similar, you know what to wish them. Let's do the next one. Ich drücke dir die Daumen once again, ich drücke dir die Daumen. You use this phrase when you are hoping the best for someone. The next one is Gute Besserung. Once again, Gute Besserung. If someone is unwell, you can wish them Gute Besserung. 
If someone is going to travel by plane, you wish them guten Flug. Once again, guten Flug. Another very common phrase amongst German friends and colleagues is schönes Wochenende. Once again, schönes Wochenende. And if you're just wishing someone a nice day, you would say schönen Tag. Once again, schönen Tag. Similarly, if you are wishing someone a nice evening, you would say schönen Abend. Once again, schönen Abend. You can reply by saying Danke, ebenso or Danke, gleichfalls. Now let's do another common phrase in Germany. Feierabend Once again, Feierabend After you have finished your work for the day or if anyone else around you has finished their work for the day, you say Feierabend And the next one is Prost Once again, Prost this one is mostly used when you're drinking alcohol or something else in a group, during get-togethers or celebrations. For the same situation, people also say zum Wohl. Once again, zum Wohl. Just remember, if someone says Prost or zum Wohl, do reply with the same or the similar word, such as Prost or zum Wohl. Moving to the next one, Alles Gute. Once again, Alles Gute. This is mostly used to wish someone good luck. Another common phrase which you hear very often in Germany is Gesundheit. Once again, Gesundheit. So if you hear someone sneezing, don't forget to wish them Gesundheit. And if someone wishes you Gesundheit, don't forget to reply with Danke or vielen Dank. Another very common phrase is Pass auf dich auf Once again, pass auf dich auf If someone says this to you, you can always reply with Danke, du auch Which means, you too Moving on to the next one Schöne Ferien Once again, schöne Ferien So if someone is going on a vacation, don't forget to wish them schöne Ferien. Or you can also say schönen Urlaub. And the last one, mein herzliches Beileid. Once again, mein herzliches Beileid. Used not very commonly, but if you're attending a funeral or if you've heard any bad news, this is what you use. That's it. Danke. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!